Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me in our prenatal yoga flow. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Keeping that back nice and straight helps create extra space and belly for baby. So maybe you always be mindful to sit with a good posture. It helps with lower back pain and it also may help with some of the discomfort you may feel, especially when you have bigger bones. As we relax, the shoulders downward away from the ears. This helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. A lot of times we sit in tension with our shoulders shrug, not realizing we are sitting tense. Simply being mindful and relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we slightly gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, if that feels good for us, taking a nice breath in, Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. Exhale. Being mindful that when we take our breath, we don't want to hold the breath. We simply just want to breathe in. Exhale. Never holding the breath. No breath retention when we are pregnant. Keeping the breath moving and flowing at all times. As we relax with our palms on our laps, or we can bring our palms to our tummies, taking a moment to check on and focus on baby within. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Allowing the palms to relax on the sides of the body. Fingertips, palms touches the earth as we are connecting and tuning in to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Four more breaths. Mm. Breathing our palms and heart center coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for us. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, shoulders flows up towards the ears, interlacing those fingers, Pointer finger points up towards the heavens as the arms slightly flow towards the back of the room. Heart chakras open, chin is up. This is a slight back bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. We are in our seated extended mountain. Our palms are separated. As we slightly, softly twist the body towards the right, coming up to a nice subtle twist. Relaxing the palms downward towards the earth. Being mindful that we don't want to over twist our bodies when we are pregnant. So no deep twist, especially when we're past our second trimester. And we're going to slightly gaze over that right shoulder. You'll feel this in your spinal cord, your lumbar spine, soothing and decompressing here. Four breaths. Two breaths.
and exhale back to center, coming into that star. Palms are outward towards the side. As we twist the body towards the left, softly twisting the body, bringing those palms down. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder, being mindful of how deep we come into this twist. Soothing and relaxing, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star, flowing into that seated mountain, extended mountain, coming into that salute, palms together, exhale prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears, fluttering the eyes slightly downward, taking a moment to go inward, three breaths, two breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Flowing into a bound position, coming into a diamond or butterfly. This here is a hip opener. It's a nice labor prep pose. Our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. It's a hip opener, but it's not as deep. Our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies and it's a little bit deeper of a hip opener. So being mindful of how you feel in your body right here, right now and doing the bound pose that feels best for you, either diamond or butterfly. With the bottoms of our feet connecting, maybe take a moment to place our palms on our feet and squeeze our feet, our toes, the balls of our feet, the heels of our feet, whatever we feel we need here in our practice. For our feet carries the body everywhere we go. So we're just gonna take a couple moments natural breaths to apply pressure, pulsing and feeling the feet. Allowing the eyes to flutter down. Two more breaths. As we allow our torso to melt forward, hinging at the hips, Notice that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it a little deeper here in those inner thighs. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. Also being mindful of baby and belly, we don't want to squish baby by going down too deep. My voice is just a guide here. May we listen to our bodies and do what feels best for us. Four more breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling up to our bound position, using our hands to bring our legs inward. Staff pose, straightening our legs. Legs are parallel, side by side. Backs are elongated, nice and straight. If we have bigger bellies, we can come into a wide-legged staff by bringing our legs slightly apart. Whatever feels good for you. And we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. If we're able, we can connect our hands to our ankles or the lower parts of our feet, coming into that seated full forward fold. Or we can hang out in that half. Whatever feels best for you and your body here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to half forward, coming back to our staff pose, relaxing the body. As we breathe our palms up in the air, coming into that salute, palms flow upwards towards the heavens. Chin is up. Exhale, prayer, relaxing palms, heart center, shoulders flows downward away from the ears. Gazing forward here in our prayer staff pose. Filling the eyes, gaze softly downward, if that feels good. Three breaths. Exhale, crossing the feet at the ankles. We're gonna come into a tabletop pose, coming onto our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop our tummy downward towards the earth, coming into a cow. 
This is great for low back pain. Our chin is slightly up. This is also a labor prep. Pose is great when you're in labor. It's also great when you are experiencing lower back pain. Cow pose, soothing and relaxing here with the chin up, four breaths. Two breaths. Flowing into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heaven, cat pose. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table as we breathe our right foot towards the back. We are balancing and strengthening here. And if we choose, we can extend our left arm forward. So we have our right leg towards the back, left arm forward. We are in that sunbird. Optioning to lower those right toes downward towards the earth for balance and support. As we are gaze forward, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale cat. Going back to our table as we extend that left foot towards the back, building that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth, balancing and strengthening as we extend that right arm forward. Left legs to the back, right arms forward. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance. We are still in our sunburn here as we are gaze forward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale cat. Low to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna walk our feet forward, complete forward fold. Maybe we are wide-legged in our forward fold. Maybe we're coming to a half forward fold. Being mindful that when we are a certain amount of months in our pregnancy, sometimes we may feel dizzy going into a complete forward fold. So flowing into a half, if that feels best. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Walking the hands forward, coming back to down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our knees, coming up to a table. Coming back to cow. Feeling this in the lumbar back, in the lumbar spine, the lower back. Chin is up. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe our right foot towards the back, sunbird, extending that left arm forward. Gaze forward. Optioning to lower those right toes downward towards the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to table, drop into cow. Yes, we are working our lumbar spine today. Exhale into cat. Come into our table as we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Right arm comes forward, gaze forward. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
Flowing back to our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our knees. We're gonna come into a camel prep pose. We are working on our lower back here today. Here in our camel, we're gonna place our palms on our buttocks with our fingers pointing downward towards the earth. We're gonna allow our shoulders to slightly flow towards the back. As our chin gazes up at the heavens, and we are in our camel pose. We are relaxing and soothing our lumbar spine as our bellies protrude forward. We're simply just hanging out here. If you're able, we can flow into a half camel, connecting the right hand to the right heel of the foot. And then switching sides, connecting the left hand to the left heel of the foot. And if it's in your practice, we can flow into a full camel. Both hands are at the heels of each foot. Or we can simply stay in our camel prep pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, we are back on our knees. We're gonna come into a puppy pose. Our knees may be slightly apart, creating space for belly. As our chest, our torso comes downward towards the earth, our buttocks is in the air. As our arms are extended in front of us with those palms flat on the earth, we are in an extended puppy's pose. Our forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward. You may feel this in your lumbar spine as it's relaxing and soothing. With the third eye chakra connected to the earth, may we use this time to go in with focusing on self, focusing on baby within. We're gonna relax here, silent meditation, six natural breaths. Opting to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands, puppy pose, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us, extended puppy pose. As we spring and wave our bodies out of our pose, using our palms to wave our torsos up and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards the heel of our feet. And you'll feel a spinal rotation in your spinal cord and smooth and decompress this here. We're gonna do three to four more rotations. One more. We're gonna find our pause at table. Crossing our feet at our ankles, and we're gonna come onto a seated position onto our buttocks. Just for a second, we're gonna come onto our side. And just relaxing here on the spine, maybe placing our crown on our tummy. If that feels good. As we slightly lift that top leg up. And if we choose, we can straighten that arm that's holding up the head. We can straighten it out. And we can allow our head to relax on that arm. We are now in our alligator. Our legs represents the alligator's mouth and our arm represents the alligator's tail. To fully form that tail, if we're able, because keeping our palms down on the ears helps with balance. So if we're able, we can breathe that arm above the head and connect the palms together. Now we are in that alligator fully. So whatever feels best for you here in the alligator, we are working our thigh, our leg, you'll feel this, you may feel the burn already. 
one more breath. We are balancing here, strengthening. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing that leg. And we're gonna switch sides, flipping the body over to the opposite side. Working on that alligator. Working on our balance. Holding up our head with our hand. Our other hand is flat on the earth, helping us keep our balance. As we lift that top leg up, opening that alligator's mouth. If all feels well, we can hang out here if we choose. Or if all feels well, we want to go a little deeper. We can straighten that arm and allow our head to relax on our arm. If we have our balance, breathing the opposite arm above the head, interlacing or connecting both palms together. Balancing and strengthening here, you'll feel that burn in your leg. We are toning and firming our leg as well as balancing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing that leg. Using our palm to bring us up. We're gonna flow onto our backs. If our tummies are big, we're gonna come into a fetal pose and relax here. Or we can grab a bolster or a blanket or a pillow and place it underneath our buttocks, lifting our pelvic floor up in the air. Now we're in that slight pelvic tilt here. Using a pillow to tilt the pelvis forward, right. this part helps us relieve pressure from the vena cava. Here, we can use the pillow to hold this position and bring our legs up in the air, slightly outward towards the side. We are kind of like in a knees to chest, but our legs are outward towards the side. So knees to chest, outward towards the side. Our bellies are in between the thighs. As we flow into a happy day, we lift those feet up in the air, bringing our hands between our thighs, connecting our hands to our feet. We are nailing that happy baby. Taking a moment to notice how you feel. If you feel any dizziness, there's too much pressure on your vena cava. Roll on to your side, please. Coming into a fetal pose. Otherwise, we're going to hang out here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale out of that happy baby. Bringing our knees back to our chest. Wide legged knees to chest. As our feet flows to the earth, knees are in the air. We're going to use our feet. Lift our pelvic bone up. Removing that pillow. We're in that bridge. We're going to use our palms. Our palms are next to our buttocks now. Lifting our buttocks off the earth here in that bridge pose. And we're rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. Working on rounding here. Buns of steel. We're going to cross slightly down. Then we're going to cross that gluteus maximus back up in the air. Feeling that pelvic tilt. Rounding here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back. Bringing our knees to our chest or wide-legged knees to chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, we find final twist. Knees flow to the right. Our mm, recline spinal twist. Knees flow to the left. As our right arm comes out to the side, like a lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Whatever feels best for you, you're going to allow that spine to be compressed or rest. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging those knees into the chest or wide legged knees to chest, knees out to the side. As our knees flow to the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, knees flow 
to the right. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase C. And we can gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder if that feels good. As our shoulder blade melts back to the yoga mat. Our body seizing in depth. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, back to center, bringing the knees into the chest or wide legged. Two breaths. Coming into that happy baby, feet come up towards the heaven, hands come between the thighs, connecting to the feet. Three breaths, happy baby. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall, breathing our legs. Outward towards the side, if that feels good, you'll put it in your inner thigh. Optioning to roll onto your side and that fetal pose. Bringing knees into the chest, wide legged. Coming onto our side, may we all meet in fetal pose. Placing a pillow between our thighs, if that feels good. Placing another pillow underneath the neck. Placing that top pillow on the belly, if that feels good for you. Gaze in the eyes down, closing them. Relaxing and soothing, solid meditation, thick, natural breath. Three more breaths. Slowly rotating our feet at our ankles. Wiggling our toes. Moving our buttocks down our hips. We can option to stay in our feet or pose if that feels good. Or we can come into a seated position, whatever feels best for you. I'm going to flow into a seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, I'm going to flow into a power face legs. May you find any seat that feels right for your body. Again, optioning to continue to lay downward on the earth. Needle pose, Shavasana, whatever feels good. Our backs are elongated. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. Gaze downward at the earth where the eyes are closed. Breathe in. Exhale. Blowing our palms above our heads and our salutes. Palms together. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed as we take a couple moments of silence to focus to see what is needed just tapping in with self being mindful of how we feel being mindful of what's going on in our lives without judgment always being kind and loving to oneself
feel in the rhythm of your heartbeat. Feel in the rhythm of your mind and body. Two more breaths. I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for ourselves. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice yoga with you here today, for it truly was a blessing. I hope you were able to relax, unwind, go inward, and focus on self. Self is very important. Self care is a necessity. Keeping in mind and, remem- and keeping in mind and remembering that we cannot pour from an empty cup. Meaning, we must take care of ourselves if we want to take care and do for others. Always be mindful of self. Always loving self and never feeling bad for giving self the time, love, attention, and quietness that we may need. Peace and blessings be to you, love and light. Namaste.